Hello there, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, smiters. Today, we are playing Black Closet. Now, this has been on the brink of release now for a couple billion years, but it's finally out. I streamed the alpha of this months ago. So I have a vague sort of memories to the beginning bit, but not totally. So, you know, we, we, we're still going to go through everything together. I have played the game. It's probably changed a lot. Don't remember a lot of it. So shall I just shut up and we'll get to the game? I like that idea. It looks like you've seen the tutorial before. I mean, I kind of have. I don't remember it. If you wish, you can click the skip scene button at the bottom of the screen to jump ahead. Yeah, I won't be doing that. What the fuck do you look like? I'm no fashion expert, but those sunglasses with whatever else you're wearing? Oh, come on. You look like a feminine version of Top Gun up here, and then as soon as you go down, it's all dress and formal. Hmm. Welcome to your new office, Elsa, and congratulations. As student council president, everything here belongs to you. For now. Good. You see that window? Right there. I want the window. Take that to my house. Uh, I'm not ticking on that boat. Sell it off. Uh, the walls, uh, pebbles, I'm not too keen on those. I'll just take the window, if that's all the same. It is Rempai, yeah, so we can't just explode. Not too keen on these paintings either, so you can keep all of that. That jewel, I'll take that. That seems quite valuable. Uh, thank you. It's an honour and a... Uh, it is a honour and a privilege. I expected no less. Hmm... I expected no less. Don't get complacent. The privileges of your position come with a great deal of responsibility. It is your duty to manage the student body and prevent scandals while maintaining their belief in your good nature. Ah, oh, well, we're fucked already then, aren't we? <laughs> if you are too aggressive, then the karma of the student council will be damaged and your classmates will no longer obey you. If you let them get away with everything, then the reputation of the school will be damaged. Uh, I'm sure I can handle it. Such naive optimism. <laughs> Alright. Christ, just because you're like five years old, it doesn't mean you can patronise me. You'd better get over that quickly. No nice words here, Elsa. This school is in peril. <laughs> well, it's good I knew this before I took on the job, huh? We have enemies who would like nothing more than to smash this ivory tower to rubble. And <laughs> scandal is their greatest weapon. If St. Claudine's falls, St. Claudine. It's not the best name for it. Shoot the person who thought of St. Claudine, Jesus. Falls, every graduate, every board member, every good traditional family will be tarnished. The school board will do whatever they must to defend themselves. So hang on a second, if a scandal gets too high, even people who aren't affected or aren't in it at all, uh, whatever. Everyone's fucked, basically. As student council president, you are their designated scapegoat. Your family background, you are not old power. You are a talented upstart, nothing more. If disaster looms, you are a perfect sacrifice for the greater good. They'll expel me to save themselves. I won't go down without a fight. I won't go down without a fight. I'm like Rocky, I'll keep punching. Put that energy into your job. If you maintain the reputation at St. Claudine's, there will be no need for a sacrifice. Eh, I, 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 mm. Full fail as president and you will be expelled, unable to achieve a place in a decent university. Oh my word, we're in actual college. <gasps> they know the difference. Your future will be ruined before it even begins, but keep things running smoothly and your time at St. Claudine's will be a benefit to your resume. Only a benefit? This seems like a lot of work with no real reward. Of course, you will have to rest the rest of the student council to assist you. The commander never gets her own hands dirty. You will need to rely on the skills of your minions to handle your caseload and find the truth behind your rumours. <laughs> we have minions. We have minions. That's so bad. Do you know what happens when you give someone like me power? 
it just manifests to get bigger and bigger inside of me until before you know it, five people are dead. Read your case files to determine targets and set out assignments for your minions to take actions where they will match their skills against the skills of the target. Let's look at an example. Let's. I barely remember this bit. First, click on Noreen to select her as a target. Do I have to? She has that weird straight fringe thing and I can't trust anyone who looks at themselves in the mirror, has that straight fringe and go, yep, I think you'll find I'm attractive. Do I really have to click on them? Oh, well, sure, whatever. We've clicked on her as a target. Did I miss something? It didn't count, okay. Noreen is a new target, so you haven't learned what her skills are yet. Her skills will be revealed when you take action against her. Let's question her. For this example, I will be playing parts of your minion. <laughs> One day you will be my minion. Click on my card in the question action and then click a sign. Uh, okay, so question with you. Can I do the other way around? You, question, a sign. I'm all over this. I got this. Alright, I got this. Assigned actions are placed in your out tray. If you wish to cancel an assignment, you can click on his position in the out way to clear the assignment. When you have made your assignments for the day, click done to begin the investigation. Okay, so she's going to question her at some point today, so we can click done and be done with it. 75 and 85, so it's measured out of 100. Awesome. Oh good, yeah, I forgot about that. It's based on die, isn't it? Uh... My luck isn't too good with die, I must admit. Uh, hmm, is there something you needed? You may now harass Noreen. Don't fucking harass her, alright. Alright, so chance is just whatever, that's the die. Uh, mm, yeah, her things weren't very high, were they? Actions use different skills. You can see what skills will be compared by looking at the icons on the sides of the action buttons. Try choosing the harass action to press Noreen a little harder. Yeah, you're gonna get fucked up. Harass. Uh, we've already clicked on you. <laughs> Do you think we're gonna win, guys? Do, do you think we have a chance? A sign. We're gonna fucking harass you. We're gonna follow you around the streets. Gonna have a baseball bat slowly tapping in our hand. Nice. Right. Ah, Noreen squeaks. I'm sorry, I'll get to class right away and scampers off. If the skill of the minions you assign is not sufficient to conquer the target, you may get incomplete or misleading reports and need to try again. Check your case log to review the clues you have gathered. I seem to remember when I was streaming this, like months ago. I didn't know there was a log, so I was trying to like manually remember everything. You can see why I failed. Now, for your final inst I didn't fail. Now, for your final instructions, it is important that we are not disturbed. Assign some students to stand guard over this location. You can assign multiple minions to the same task. They will use the best available skill for each situation. In this case, Rose's intimidation will combine with Neil's observation. Okay, awesome. Both of you, guard it and assign. Yeah, see, we got this. Hang on, so if I click on log, Mr. Marsh has a friendly chat with Noreen. She was confident in her skills. Mr. Oz interrogated. She was confident in her skills. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Well, at least now we know what the log is. We're going to guard this with our fucking life. 91. What's that? 54? 50. Do you know what that means? It means you can fuck off. It doesn't. I mean, we probably never saw you because apparently you're Casper the Ghost, but whatever. The students stand guard outside the office. <laughs> Damn straight you did. Now, let us speak clearly. You are the leader here, but you are helpless without the skills of your minions. And that creates a weakness. A weakness which someone intends to exploit. One of your minions is a traitor. Fuck, I forgot about that bit. Yeah, because it could literally be anyone. And it, uh, I seem to remember last time I just accused everyone at some point. Yeah. How do you know that? Intercepted communications, internal documents which are not even for a, which are not for a student's eyes, not even yours. 
bitch, how do I trust you? You might be the traitor. One of them is working against you and will intentionally fail her assignments whenever possible in the hopes of causing scandal and bringing down the school. You must determine which of your minions cannot be trusted or she will destroy you. Spend time with them, socialise, do whatever you want. Can I lock them up in the basement? Or would that cause scandal? Probably scandal, wouldn't it? Manage your karma, defend the school's reputation and identify the traitor, or else your career will come to a quick end. Good luck, Madame President. She leaves the office, your office, a symbol of your power and of the expectations others have placed upon you. Will you live up to those expectations or surprise them all? I... Why am I a whacked out German scientist? I don't want to be that role. Mm. When you reach the student council office, Von is already waiting for you. Ah, there you are, Elsa. I'm called Elsa. I can't name myself. Ah. Oh, bang goes the adventures of Dave. Everything is in order. One of the chairs had a rip in the cushion, so I had a maintenance swap it out. All the fitting slots are clean, and there's a fresh box of push pins by the bulletin board. Uh, you didn't have to do all that? Very good! No, you didn't have to do all that. Let's be humble now, because I'm not around someone who I should be cocky around. I intend to do my job well. Being vice president means more than just waiting for a chance to step into your shoes, Captain. Alright, well, I mean, it's nice that you're up front about it. The correct title is... No, why are you calling me Captain? You, you don't remember. Captain rolls off the tongue more easily than Madame President, did you think? As I sounded that... How the fuck was I supposed to remember that? It's the first time I've ever spoken to you, isn't it? Oh, well, whatever. As I sounded the door, that must be the other officers. To tell Elsa she has to... Oh, you're already here. What were you going to tell our president? Well, I don't mean to be rude, Von, but all things considered, it's not right that you are vice president when my big sister is so much more qualified. Oh, darling. Look, money and position and social status means a lot more than being qualified. Don't know how to tell you that, but it does. I don't want the job. Doesn't even fucking want the job, but uh, whatever. You didn't want to be president, that's fine, but you deserve. Tice, I'm not interested. Tice, Thice, Tice. Fuck everything about that name. Like. <laughs> Let's go with Tice for now. It's probably not that, because that's a Belgian name, but whatever. You're a natural leader, and she has the personality of a secretary. Bon was elected. End of story. I'll fine. Be stuck in your dusty old ways. Youth will overcome, you'll see. Ugh. Sounds like one of Russell Brand's revolutions. Don't worry. One day, we will overcome you. No, no, you won't. Just stick to making YouTube videos with... Lazy people can follow you. The door opens again. Um, hello, is, the stu is this the student council room? Well, we have our uh, obligatory Merry Bo Peep sort of entry. Even has a bow in her hair and everything is frilly. Tut tut, such a stereotype. Mallory, this is. Uh, hmm, what, what? Yes, this is the student council. Oh, good, I found the right place. Ginger as well. Ugh. And look at that, a gap in their fringe. Oh, there could be... Uh, yeah, we've got off to a bad start already. I'm Mallory. I'm the hospitality officer. We need a replacement. People are going to come in here, see that she's ginger, and just cry and kill over very quickly. Ugh. All right, new girl. Be respectful to this young lady. It's your first year on the student council too. Yeah, but I've been at this school since kindergarten. She just started as a freshman. Hang on a minute. You're banging on about how someone's more qualified and now you're bringing up social status. God, you're going to be a right prick, aren't you? Well, I think it's lovely to see some new faces. Uh, thanks. Uh, don't mind all the issues like that with it. If we could get turned out of business. Aren't we missing someone? What about Rowan? Last one here might be a traitor suspect. She's already here. Oh god, I forgot. Yeah, I met her last time. The emo. Look. Oh, woe is me. Life will not be prolonged. Oh. 
Uh, it would have been polite to say hello. Hello! Her eyes are too far away from each other. She says nothing else. Now that your minions are assembled, <laughs> it is time to open your case folders and see what this week has in store. Labor Day. Good, good. Okay, well, we'll save it. Apparently not. Can we... Fuck. I've got... Can't save in the middle of a thing. We have to wait till, like, the end of each day or the end of each week or something like that, so we can't cheat. <laughs> kind of makes sense. A shipment of supplies has gone missing. String, wood, and glue to build bridges with. If those supplies aren't found by September the 14th, the special engineering lesson will have to be cancelled. <gasps> oh no! What are those people going to do who are pretending to learn? Mariana, June, Alexis and Joan are in that class. Do they know anything? So hang on a second. Without any of my investigative skills, we've just narrowed it down to four people. Fair enough, I guess. Supply closet, we don't need to go there yet. We still can't save, can we? No. So, Althea, Tice, Von... Okay, so we don't know any of these, so we're just gonna, like, question them all. Assign. Just because these are the best options, that way we can sort of see who has... Oh, God, there's fatigue in this, isn't there? I just saw this. Oh, no. Uh, we're gonna question them all. Oh, they need to have good green and blue skills. Uh, I said... Yeah, no... I said a sign. Thank you. Green and blue. Green and blue, good. Green and blue, nah. Green and blue, good. Okay, your green and blue is... Alright, what, what do we have to do here? Purple? I have no idea what you have to do with this one. Because, look, this is yellow and purple. There are no yellow and purples here, game. You lied to me. Oh, inspect. <laughs> so it's blue and whatever the fuck that is. Probably chance. So you've got a good one with that. So we shall inspect and we can't... What? Why not? Oh, okay, it's because I hadn't clicked on her probably. Awesome. Right, so we're questioning everyone, seeing what they're going to say, and inspecting the engineering lab. Go, Gadget, go. Did we owe this up? Oh, come on, yes. I'm sorry I don't have any idea. Okay, so you're probably all right then. Chances are, anyhow. Uh, I'm not liking that as much. Oh, success. Missing school supplies? Don't know, don't care. I will harass the living mother out of you if that is your reply. Don't know, don't care, whatevs, lad. You're gonna get fucking done. Okie dokie, you are quite high. This is school supplies. Maybe the teacher should look a little harder. Too close to call. I'm not sure we can beat you is the problem. We might have to... Think of other ways, if you get me. Yeah, this is way too high. Oh no, stealth. Okay, so we won that. I don't know what happened to the supplies, but I do know that Mariana and Joan were not looking forward to that lesson. It's so Joan. Oh. Fifth, how the fuck am I supposed to get that up? What? All right, no new information to report. Yeah, see, so they're all fatigued. So we questioned everyone, not much happened other one. We didn't get any information out of you, I think. So yeah, didn't know. Tice had a friendly chat. She was confident of skills. Joan denied all knowledge. June denied all knowledge. Yeah, this is the one we didn't do too well with. So we might want to send someone more powerful to go and see Mariana. And Oh, Alexis aimed suspicion at Mariana, and Joan gave me a bit of a shit reply as well. Can I harass any of them? Joan? Yeah, we're gonna fucking go harass you. So, it's green and red against green and red. This is only marginally better. It's 1540. Oh my word. Althea, you look like you're made for this job. Oh, you are gonna fuck Joan up so hard. Look at that, 100% win rate. Absolutely no chance of losing. Okay, so how do we... If we go back to questioning Mariana... Okay, so I'm looking here, so we pretty much always lose here. And, uh, very low. Oh. Okay, cool, right. 
Oh! Oh, that's why it's Shoto Eye. <laughs> oh, okay. Is there anyone who can do it on their own and get a decent thing? Okay, so if we send both of you on, we'll get a decent answer. And there's no point of doing anything else because you two are probably fine. It's these two feckers we have to deal with. So... Can we just send someone to the supply closet as well? I think we can. Uh, Rowan, you're useless. You know what to look for. Get supplies. A sign. Wait, these have loyalty and stress. That loyalty, that could be a big thing. Okay, done. Come on. Show me them numbers. Bam. I don't know anything about the missing supplies. I just enjoy watching people screw up. You may now detain Joan. You may now search Joan's room. Okay, I like the searching her room. Let's see what she says. Fucking lost. Missing school supplies. Maybe the teacher should look at look. Oh, God damn it, Mariana! I got a lemon? What the fuck does that help me with? It's a lemon. Ah. Rowan just, has just come into my office carrying a large box. Delivery. We're not going to get anything more out of you, are we? It's just going to be delivery. <laughs> oh, well. Let's, let's just get this over and done with, and then let's detain Joan's ass.